Why, hello everyone! Welcome, welcome to, actually, the new series, Divinity Original Sin, part two! I know it looks like this because I was invited my honey. As always, we're going to be doing this campaign with my honey as well. Say hello. Hello. His microphone is back to good. Let's get straight into it. Let's not delay. We can't start the game because not all. Like, what do you mean not all? It, it's, it's close. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Now let's see what you mean. Whoops. I didn't know that you wasn't unready. Why you do that? Hmm? Now me, my character is gonna be. Y'all already know. Come on, guys. Y'all already know who I'm gonna be. Y'all already know who I'm gonna be. Shit. I'm I'm hype. Are you hype? I'm a little bit hype. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I don't want to be you fucking Gargonian. What's my guy? That's what I want to be. There we go. That's the one I want to be. For sure. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Let me listen to the original story so y'all can hear it. This is my favorite. Here you go. Oh, shit. Oh, don't stare. How would you look after eons in some ghastly crypt? Your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. He's so amazing. When I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment. I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace of the world I knew all but obliterated. I must even hide my true face beneath an ever shifting mask for fear you savages will attack me. That is how I wonder this strange world. Trying to uncover the truth about a history you primitive people never even knew existed. Wow. Um, let me know who you're going to be today. I could show them their backstory too. Hun. Okay. Is that one the one you're going to be? Oh, okay. Maybe. Well, while you figure it out. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got Battle Mage, Cleric, Conjurer. Now, me? I like that one, too. But I got the guild. I, oh, I like that one, too. Shit. There's so many good ones. Oh, my God. I cannot. There's so many good ones. Shit. Forgot how many good ass spells they have, yo. Oh man, but I gotta go with this one. I'm gonna go for. I think even forgot which one you're doing. I'm gonna be Conjurer. Mm hmm. It's either that one or I'm gonna be the um other one with the um uh oh, what is it? The Triton That turns in people into chickens. Metamorph? Yeah. Either way I could get conjurer skills anyway. You know I am gonna stay with the chicken one. Shit. <laughs> that one was fun too. Alrighty, let's see here. I want to change the appearance. I think you're staying with that one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, let me go to her story really quickly so y'all can hear it. What's her name? That one. Mm -hmm. Let's hear her story, shall we? Here we go. I used to be a slave. Kept under the thumb of the master. The bastard that made me hunt down my own kin. How did he do that, you ask? With the living scar you see on my cheek, this horror that takes no more than a song sung by Master Dearest to control my very thoughts. But now the tables have turned. I broke my shackles. And when I finally find him, 
I will make the master sing a very different kind of song. Nice story, my girl. Nice story. So I take you're gonna have a quest to find your master. And destroy him, of course. Alrighty, my boy, let me change your appearance and let's see how it goes. Oh, that one looks beautiful. Oh, shit. A crystal skull all the way. Let's, let's not give you a bill. Let's not do that. Hell? We'll give you hell, because, you know, you could wear a wig. It doesn't matter. Dude, I'm, oh my god, you look awesome. Hell dinner? What is that? Dinner? Oh, oh, color. Okay. We gotta go with black. Okay. Strength. And that one. That one. Okay. Talents. I am undead. So that means undead lets you heal from poison, but regular healing will damage you instead. Pretty much. Um, this one gives you five percent bonus for critical chance and ten expo uh, ten percent extra critical. Uh, that thingy. Um, gives you the ability to perform attacks of a opportunities okay cool how about um take that one out and i want pep pal i love talking to animals in this game so tags i'm undead what's this for instruments I'm gonna go with that shallow. Are you finished? Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm. All right. My character looks. Pal, right? Yeah, I got Pepal. Awesome, yeah. I him. love talking to the animals in the game. Like seriously, find it amazing. Like absolutely amazing. I would just wait on him and then we'll get straight into it. <coughs> you ready to go? All right. Let's do this. Beware, playing as undead pose unique risks and benefits. Undead must veil their true selves from the living or risk being attacked. Healing potions and spell will damage you. While poison heals, undead can pick lock with a bony finger alone and can survive the surge of death, death fog. <clears throat> are you sure you want this? Yeah, are you crazy? Oh shit, cutscene. I'll meet you after this. began and 
the Magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill God Woken. But instead, I became part of their story. Not bad, not bad. Sorry, I got five new skills. Hell yeah. Um, so, oh. still a bit groggy, are we? <clears throat> Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Is that you? Now. Oh. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. I, bitch. I mean, how can I get out of this? Oh, okay. As I say before, we went to one point on the game, and then oh after that, God, we don't remember. Oh, hello. If I'd had a mask to hide my bones as well as yours, maybe I'd still be walking around today. Where'd you get it? There can't be many curios like that in the world. Um, well, basically, I craft it myself. Rip that from them too. I've never heard such silken tones from a naked skull. It meant that your voice is something of a dick trick. Your words and tone are projectile directly into the minds of others. Boast that you can make others hear the voice you want them to hear. You are that powerful. Ask the talking scalding if he knows what's happening on the ship. <laughs> Should have known it was a parlor gimmick. Still, you'd best keep that mask on. The living do don't take kindly to seeing their future staring back at them. I understand. Will is, um... Oh, there we go. Let's search around. You know me, I like to grab everything. I think my honey beat me to it. Excuse me, sir. Um, sir. I will quite go too. Pick up this bucket. Hello, sheep. What's up? Shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully. Her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. Banded like a chicken's leg. But not much meat on your bones. Poke the sheep belly with your toe. Remark that she got more meat on her than you do. That may is so. But look at the flies. Wisdom. Flies know when a creature will die. And it's around your head they're buzzing, not mine. With two shakes of her stumpy tail, the sheep turns away from you to peruse her hay filled manger. You fucking sheep. How dare you! How dare you test me? Give me some levels out of this. Sure. Oh, you over there? Oh shit, he's doing the conjuring! He conjured a, a thingy on me. Get him. Get him, my little one. Get him. Get him. Go get him. 
He said chicken, go get him. Get him, beat him up. Oh shit. Beat him up again. Appreciate that. He's running away from us. Damn. That thing is fast as fuck. I gotta move a little bit. Hello. You see, I like my character because he could transform into anything and have those skills and stuff. I'm an elf, look! No. So I could conjure myself! Are you noticing that this um chicken is actually more powerful than anything? Oh, okay. Thank you. Alright, I wanna switch back to myself. I don't wanna be this thing. I'm way better looking dead. Oh wait, whoops, I switch into an elf. I wanna turn back into me, thanks. How do I revert? Hmm. Ah, oh, here we go. <clears throat> there we go. Much better. Much to my liking. Let's see what we got here. A letter. Let's read this. Oh, I just want to show I can read this. All from the Gal store. Important. It comes to my <clears throat> attention again. That several of you are bypassing the cargo hold security measure by sliding boxes onto the pressure plate. This will not do. Nope, nope, nope. The purpose of these measures is to require the presence of at least three magiers. Uh, a change of shift, any disaster will result in at least one magier getting thrown overboard. Make sure it isn't you, yeah? Alright. I'm slowly walking. I don't like that. My dude. The Magister Guard snorts and sniffles as he sleeps. You're almost impressed that one man can make such a oh, I was denied. <laughs> I'm gonna boop the guard's nose. Is my shift over? Wait. You're no Magister. You're a sorcerer. What are you doing here, filthy scrounger? Choose your words carefully. My fists ache to meet a new face. Um, salute him. Uh, tell him you heard yelling coming from above. Laugh and tell him one of the gods on the upper deck for overboard. He should check it out. Oh my god, it work. <laughs> Those idiots can't even walk straight without mucking it up. <laughs> was it Ricks? <laughs> I bet it was Ricks. <laughs> Can't just leave the prisoner alone, though. I heard he might be the one causing trouble upstairs. Memories, okay. Uh oh. If it's all the same, I think it's best he comes with me. Some offense intended. You hear that, Emoir? We're taking a walk. Okay. I can't let you do that. Right. Um, my dude, okay, whatever. Um, does he talk? Well, not anymore because you got him following him. Hit him! Hit him! You you hit him? 
Holy shit! No. Oh, I'm not dying. Cool. Meanwhile, you're like this bitch. I'm gonna show you. You have elements all around you, so let me just summon a fucking flame one. And don't forget your little baby. Don't forget the baby. There you go. You can't forget the baby, you know? Yeah, man. But how about me? What about y'all? That is six damage to him. Oh shit, I won't be able to pass heal. Damn. There we go. Heal you to none. Heal you to none, you know that? Damn. Get him, honey, get him! I like how you always have lightning for every character you choose. Like serious, right? Eh? Oh god, I'm dying. There we go, much better. Oh my god. Good thing I didn't went down there. Shouldn't have used my potion, that's a shame. There goes your minion. Good. Man, are you glad we're playing this one, shit? Mm -hmm. I'm quite glad, too. You gotta move over, though. I'm taking this with me. It's locked. Get my bony finger up in this. Okay, let me try again. How do we know when we have a skill? I forgot about that. Oh, I don't think I have a skill on that. So. We kinda... We level one. Okay, let's get out of You stand in that poison forever, huh? I'm not actually in it. Why do you say that? Because your health is dying slowly. I know, and it's not going down, it's staying at two turns for 20 years. You're dying, hun. You really gotta get out of that poison. I'm not in it! Okay. Are you listening? I'm all the way over here on the other side. That's why I just asked if you saw me standing in it. I think he died. Okay, I wasn't muted, so hello, can you hear me? Good day. Yes. Are you responding to me finally? I could heal you, my boy. Then answer. Did you I see did, I told you. In it? Yes, I told you like six times. Okay, well, I was on the other side of the ship. Holy shit. Which I kept telling you 50,000 times that you don't respond. Are you okay? Can you help? No, let's fucking go. I'm done with this shit. Great first episode! Well, some of thought the fucking game's already fucking broken. It's gonna fucking keep me somewhere where I'm not at. This again. Alrighty. Let's continue onwards. Yeah, why you're looking a bit more chipper? Yes. Looks like I'm going to get you started. Nice bit of work. I do say so myself. Empty. 
empty. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. Sorry about that. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officers' quarters. Say, you had a long black dream about a ship sailing the river of dead. But you're not dead, are you? No. You're alive, and you're having a conversation. You are on a ship, of course, but luckily for us both, we're merely sailing the plain old sea. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits, and if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. Excuse me? For good. You pour at the thing around your neck, through time, the man to know why she collar you. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. We call the feeling of waking up and draining a body of source. We call the rushing power that fills you unleash it. Currents of magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking, only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. You better stop before you hurt yourself. All will, but no result. There you have it. See? The collar's function. It neuters you of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Lean in and whisper that the mage house below deck suffer a fatal encounter. She frowns and peers at you closely, concern clearly etched upon her face. Hmm. Delusions such as these are rare but not unheard of. I recommend a cup of mulled wine and another night's sleep. Just take it easy. I want to kill this lady. She ticked me off. I'm going in with a blaze of attacks. What? Um... Can you hear her a little bit? Because Jesus Christ, my skills are on fucking cooldown. It seems as though there's a pattern in the blood. Is she a I appreciate that. Wait, before you do that, let me give you a potion so you can heal yourself. Do I have potions? I do. Here, take all of them. We need them. I'd rather you not die because I don't have no more resurrect scrolls. Who should I become? Should I become an elf and drain her? Or should I be a lizard? I don't I'm gonna think be it a lizard. Not... Steal the book. That would take off. No known associates. In fact, he seemed quite averse to spending time. Told you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm being your shield. You know that, right? You know that, yes? I was actually going to summon fire in the bottom for you. Look at that little mini. He's look absolutely amazing. Look at that. He's such a cutie. He's such a fucking cutie. Yeah, you smacked that fucking hole. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, I forgot. Um, the um game has different mechanics when it comes to fighting. They have a blue one, which is for magic stuff. If you hit them with magic, that decays. They have a gray one when you hit them with attack and stuff, that one will decay. And then the regular health out, which is the red one, of course.
Oh shit, I thought that turns into fire if you hit it. I have to summon it on fire. No, Whoops, sorry. Have me burn it alive. Be in mind, I haven't did this in a minute. But look at the bright side, she's a chicken. And you just smack her. I like how we didn't smack her. I don't have a back of opportunity on the talent. Oh yeah. What spells do you have between one? I'm pretty sure people is curious as well. How come you got a dagger and I don't have any then? I think I have a knife down there. Oh. Okay, so you got lightning. You got the summon thingy, the totems. And you got the incarnate thingy. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Let me go down there because I need to go get that chicken. Let me make sure I'm hitting the correct stuff so I don't have to hit you told him. Oh, maybe you shouldn't fuck with me. Oh. Oh, Eddie. Let's go and act normal, yes? La 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 la. Hello. A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Okay. What's going on here? Ugly sight, isn't it? Yes, it is. Turns me up. This happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky. No void walk and followed the source that did this. Inform her that she wasn't the man. I mean, she wasn't this man protector. She was his culprit. Cooper. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him: his own shadow and his own source. We'll find out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. Mirthless? I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Say you don't hail from the house of dreams. When you sleep, you truly sleep. Figured as much. Listen. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Oh, go, let's go. Wait. Tell her your price is considerably higher than that. Not in here, it isn't. You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. So he wants me, she wants me. Have you went in here? Is this to go upstairs? I think that is to go upstairs, it's this way. Let's see if we can find out. Oh wait, we have to talk to- Hello. Um, honey, she's saying it, not me. I'm just saying that right now. Would you please tell this very uh, charming gaggle of not at all rat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. Tell her, I mean, play along and take her hand with a grin. Tell the children it must How be mistaken. very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madam Josephine Gribbles to Peeve refuses to be confused with anyone else. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? Say that's true enough. Shake her hand. Lush, you pres are you presume? You presume right. As if she know anything about the murder that happened on board. Nope. Trying not to find anything out either. Ignorance is bliss. Tell her she ought to have a look around with you. You can watch each other's backs. But I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. You take care though. 
I appreciate that, my girl. Her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Damn! Good luck, Chief. I leave it to him to get the recipe for smashed potatoes. What are you doing? Well, no, we got us. We got. Damn, my boy, damn savage. You left these plates. Never thought you'd end up a prison guard, Vic. Okay, I'm let's right. talk to this guy. I always knew you'd turn out rotten, Ben Mest. I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sub story somewhere else. Bitch. Hello. A scruffy man lounges against the wall with scarred arms folded. A Who is you? On his face. He stares across at the Magister guarding him. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board and I'd bet three months pay it's this tramp you found. Ha uh ha. -huh. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. Move closer to him. In. And adjust your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He Thank you. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifa. Tell me, Ifa, why the magister suspect you of murder? We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Pointed white teeth? I like you. You will be my comrade. I like him. What he does, if you remember? Honey? I don't care. Whatever he does, I'm mm. taking him. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword and now he's Johnny Big Pants. As if uh, where did he what I don't know what he did to find himself at the mercy of the subordinates. Long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. Away from interested parties. Say that you're still curious about the murder. Did you do it? No. Okay. A dead man. Finn, is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. That's true. He glances over at Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn shame, sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. As if if you know anything where well, you were headed for joy. joy. I've heard a lot. Nothing good. No surprise there, since Bishop Alexander runs the show. Wonder if we'll get to meet the ringmaster himself. So you'd like to meet Alexander. You know him exactly what you think of his... You'll show him exactly what you think of your bloody divine order. Easy now. I might think the same. But Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. I don't give a shit to you. Lizard. lizard? Am I still the lizard guy? I can't really see. Yeah, I am. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. Name. Tell him that your name is in language he will never heard and cannot pronounce. But he may call you Finn. Magister Victor <coughs> looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Mm, fuck if he scowls me. At once. If and performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips as he leans back against the wall. Hang on, I need to change my character again. Whoops, do not want to remain the lizard. There we go. Ah, better. Nobody will know. See? I'm fine. Let's go talk to some more people. Never thought you Hello, beast. A broad dwarf sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. 
He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, boy. You hear that? That's what you meant by wave his request away and take you and ask him what he's... That's what you mean by hearing. Shep, of course. Quiet and listen to the sounds of the, the ship. Of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. And? Then the ship is moaning like a sick man. Like it's uh trying to capsize the ship. Mark that you shipmate. I'm gonna go with say the ship sounds angry. The fellow cocks his ear, listening. Ah, it's an anger. It's he cocks his ear to the other side, then smiles. Anticipation. She senses something. I'd hold on to my breeches if I were you, mate. That's all you hear, though. Listen close. Close your eyes and try to let the ambient sounds on the ship fade away. Just like that. Squeeze. His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard it, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. Ask what he got him. Ask. <clears throat> nah, you heard it. What is it supposed to mean? It's the wheel. The wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we are heading east. For my beard. That means if we've been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Tell me he shouldn't talk like that about such a magnificent beer. Ah, so you've eyes as well as ears, eh? You'll go far, mate, even here. Ask why he's so silent about reaching for joy. You haven't heard anything good about the place. Eh, no indeed, boy. But that ain't my final destination. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. Say nothing, but look over him once more before leaving. You may want to... You may want to find him... Wait, clock? Cock an eyebrow. If he's hatching a plan, you want him. Continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. Down. Okay, that didn't work out. You? You one of them? A divine order loyal. They killed the sorcerer, you know. They'll hide the evidence well enough, but make no mistake. Um, who else I haven't talked to? Why wow, you? I know it. Hello. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Meanwhile, the magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. <gasps> the indignity. Well, well. What have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. The lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. Human, let's see what this leads. Hmm. There's some discoloration, as well as a rather disconcerting lack of tongue and gums, but I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on a squalid little ship like this. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? It had been, it had been quite a while since I tried. In which case, I take it your cuisine is limited to the introduction of eggs to hot water. How disappointing. On to the second question. Can you knit weave? In short, uh, Taylor? Stick a thumb through one of the holes in your grub and say they'll pretty. These provide cool in summer. Yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic, a bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. 
On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. You're no stranger to combat, powders and perfumes. The very basics then. I suppose that's a start. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? As per your own testimony, you can groom, but you have the taste buds of a dung beetle and the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit. That won't do at all, see? I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. He's looking for you to be what now? Tell him you have half a mind to punch him in the face. You probably come to terms with the fact that you've half a mind full stop. You'll never attain the rank of slave with manners such as that. Still, hone your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. You keep dreaming, you hear? Honey, come here. I'll give you that knuckle if you I want to kill this guy. One of us would kill our he took me off. Where you going? He ticked me off. Oh, you talking to him? Okay. Here to register, man. Good, good, good. Sorry about that. Oh shit! Okay. That's food. Can I take this? Oh, yummy. Oh, you talking to her? Hang on. Um, standing in the center of the room, you guys so sort of highly eyed in a pair of nervous looking magistrates. They keep their um, crossbows turned up as she began interrogating the officers. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Oh, wow. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Good God, the woman's mad. You there, mm. sorcerer, go and fetch Magister Siwan. Yes, sir. Uh, wait. This may be a perfect opportunity. Oh, hang on. Hang on. This must be a perfect opportunity to tell the woman you stand by her. Yes. Wait, address the source and ask her what she meant by the others. Oh, oh no, I want the middle one. Fuck that. I'll stand by you, lady. No, Go for it. I'm afraid I always perform my part solo. Do stay and watch, though, because... She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. I'm just about to create a scene. Holy shit. Subdue her, man, quickly. If she casts source, the void worker will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Oh shit, wait, are we fighting her? Holy shit! Hello? Are you okay? What's happening? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit's with Hun, oh. there's some items in here. I don't know which one's yours, so you take yours first. I forgot which one's mine, actually. You pick up one. Yours is one and shield. And which one's mine? I'm Pitchfork, right? I believe. Hang on. She took my helmet! She took my helmet! There we go, I have a thingy. Alright, um... Wait, wait, wait! Wait, um, do we go back to that woman who say she wants us to find them? Wait, there's some stuff here too, let me just grab this. How the hell am I still on fire if I'm, you know, grabbing the fucking thing right now? Wait, let's see if we could wake them up. Hello? What? What oh, I could wake him up! Must have been the turnips. 
Grab a club nearby and throw some water in his face. Water? Why, for goodness sake? Oh. The lizard's eyes close as he slips into unconsciousness. Did this one die over here? She did die! Holy shit! My dude, are you okay? If I lies motionless, curled on the ground like an animal. Under his shaggy hair, you can see green eyes fluttering as if in a nightmare. A low whine escapes his lips. Shake him to try and wake him up. His eyes flicker open, but he doesn't register your presence at all. Lucy? Lucy? If Anne cries out, then his eyes fall closed again. No matter how much you shake him now, he cannot be roused. Wait, it's time to end it, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright guys, for now we're gonna have to end it here. Unfortunately, I do hope y'all okay, just walk away. I do hope y'all all enjoy and I do hope each and every one of you have a lovely night or day, depending on where you are. And remember guys, I will see y'all all in the next one. Peace.